In a show known for big ideas, the neon strip of Las Vegas has officially welcomed the 2011 Consumer Electronics Show, no matter what the state of the global economy is. Over 120,000 people are expected to infiltrate the desert looking for the hottest tech trends and latest gadgets. This recession has been difficult, but what it did is it forced companies around the world, and American companies especially, to do what they're good at. When the tough get going, you really focus and you innovate, and that's what this show is about. In the hallways of hotels, casinos, and the convention floor, people are talking tablets and the tiny memory chips that are allowing mass amount of information, video, pictures, music, and more to live freely inside this new device. California-based company SanDisk has been specializing in memory for 23 years and is on the forefront of this tiny technology. This is an SSD right here. It's up to 64 gigabytes. You can see how small it is, how thin it is. This is ideal for use in a tablet. And that's because of its small size, yet high capacity. So what you'll see here at the show at CES is a lot of new tablets. They all use flash memory. With tablet computers being the focal point of this year's show, one would presume that Apple would be front and center with the iPad. Nothing could be further from reality. They are not attending. But some companies doing business with them are, like iHome. We've been having this partnership with Apple over the last couple of months where we've uh, been nurturing this uh, new capability called AirPlay, which is a wireless distribution uh, for digital audio that's lossless that you can now stream from your iOS device, from your iPad, your iPhone, and your iPod Touch, as well as iTunes. And if none of that makes sense, then why not finally explore the world of 3D television in the home? Canada-based Sensio has Executive VP Richard Laverge to explain about the challenges of 3D technology this year. User experience, it's to make the user experience adequate for the people that are looking at 3D. Right now it's complicated, it's still an issue to run and to watch 3D. You have to know a lot of technical. The other thing is content. There's, there's still not enough content. But if you like the outdoors and you love golf, then Celestron's Michelle Meskel has the perfect pocket gadget for you. Well, the benefits are is the, are that you can um, basically carry it in your pocket. It has GPS, and it'll help you with your golf game. It helps assist you. It's your personal golf caddy. Innovation, creativity, and engineering here at the 2011 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Robert Ray, the Associated Press.